Hey guys, we are in Rio de Janeiro and today I'm going to show you around. Well, we are in the sugar loaf. It was supposed to be really a great place with a great view right here. But unfortunately, today we have a cloudy day. <laughs> Okay, we are on the top of a mountain, but we can't see anything. But we are literally inside of a cloud. So this is also a unique experience. The trip started all the way from Minas Gerais State. It was still dark when we hit the road. As dawn broke, we could see beautiful landscapes, like this wonderful sunrise. After seven hours driving, we finally reached our destination. Welcome to Rio de Janeiro. It was my first time in Rio besides being at the airport. It was such an incredible feeling. Right on arrival, we passed through this endless tunnel. It took us more than three minutes to get the other side. Take a look. On the first day, we got our tickets to Corcovado, the place where Christ the Redeemer is. We took this train and then Christ the Redeemer. What a place to start getting to know the city. What a view to enjoy from this place. Hey guys, second day here in Rio de Janeiro. Yesterday was such an intense day. We went to many places, driving our car, including Chris the Redeemer. And today we're going to, to the Sugar Loaf. We also are going to walk on the beach and I'm so excited for it. Let's go. As I come from a place without beaches, being in contact with the sea is always special for me. Walking on the beach, we came across Jobim statue in Ipanema, and then the poet Carlos Drummond de Andrade, and the sand art in Copacabana. We took the cab away to Sugarloaf, but as you could see at the start of this video, it was cloudy and we couldn't see much from up there. In any case, it was worth it, great feeling, peaceful place. Maybe because of the weather and the wind. Amazing. Later on, we went to a jazz concert and we had the opportunity to watch these great musicians.
after this concert, I got this songbook of Shore music as a gift. For those who don't know, Shore is an amazing genre of music from Brazil, and I'm so excited to use it. As I learn the songs, I'll share them with you on my channel. By the way, the song in the background of this video is one that I've already learned from this songbook. It's called Noites Cariocas. Taking advantage of this moment, if you want to study guitar with me, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or you want to play and want to improve your guitar skills, click the link below to get more information. So now let's get back into the video. Day 4, Lapa, here we go! In this part of the trip, we went to well-known places such as Lapa Arches. This urban park fascinated me. see the real cathedral. It's beautiful in both parts, outside and inside. Here is Celeron Staircase, this charming place decorated with tiles by Chilean artist Jorge Celeron. Here there are tiles from places all around the world. This street sign has an important meaning. I'll talk about it in a while. But here is another meaningful place. This is the City Theater, a special place for the art in Rio, in Brazil and in the world. Coming back home, there were protests in the city. People who supported Bolsonaro's government were on the streets with Brazilian shirts and flags. It's really sad seeing this happen in the same country and city where Marielle Franco, black woman from favela LGBT and human rights defender was killed for fighting for a fair society. Despite that, it was fantastic getting to know this inspiring city, full of natural beauty, art, history and great people. It was amazing sharing a little bit of this experience with you. Let me know in the comments if you like it, please. Alright guys, hope you liked this video, if so give it a thumbs up please. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.